And we've got, oh, we got a good one. Oh, I, boy. Okay, we've got Ju Jacko versus a Peach. Is that Nuggets? I can't tell. I don't know which Peach this is. I think. I'm sorry, if Nuggets, if you're in the chat. chat. <laughs> I can't tell who it is. I literally can't. It's we got the in-game tag. It is Nuggets. Okay, it I got is it. Nuggets. I got it right. All right. All right. All right, so Peach, Sonic. Oh, Peach, I feel like, is low-key slept on as a character. Like, she, she can just pull off some amazing stuff on a lot of the cast. Like, this matchup on paper, obviously Sonic, but Peach Peach does have counterplay. She can deal with a lot of uh, offstage play. Her ledge trapping is incredible. For so, sure. I, however, Jackal, player, player hot and up and coming. Not really up and coming, but arguably... He's still on his way, but like he, he already has a reputation with that fantastic, amazing showing at Shine. Beat the best player in the world. Beat Boyd. At the player's ball, he beat Finny. He uh -huh. beat... Um, I believe on uh, he beat Mars. Something on three, four hours of sleep, as he so righteously bragged He's about. Ridiculous. Too. He also just won Zeno without dropping a game. So. And only 16 yeah. years old. So uh, just it's like nice. McLeo. <laughs> <laughs> I order that every time. I, I order that every time I go to McDonald's, dude. I love the McLeo. Dude. Now Nuggets, I know is is the best. Peach. Speaking of best, speaking of McDonald's. <laughs> the best peach. This uh, you got. You got. Uh, <laughs> you got your McLeo, and you got your. Uh, got your Nuggets. Your, your 20. This man's looking like a 20 piece right Who now. Who I believe so. hails from what is his region? I think it's Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yeah, all I right. think so. Yeah, I know great, he comes uh, New quite a area. Bit. I know he does well as well. I, I, I'd say he's the best. I think he's the best peach in this region, if I recall correctly. Right. Very skilled. Uh, I haven't seen too much of him today, but I mean, he made it to, to winners, so mm -hmm. obviously he's got he's to gotta be pretty good. Mm -hmm. And just Sonic's raw movement, and it's just one as proficient as Jackal as well, being able to take all those big names. I am just wondering how Nuggets is going to be able to keep up with this Sonic right now. I'm just trying to imagine what Peach really has in this matchup. How effective is Float as that back row is definitely going to take the stock. Is Float, um... I mean, is Sonic's forward air just like Hello? fast enough to be able to catch it when she's there. Oh, but that's good. Right there, that, that's good. That down air is amazing. Running actually. in and doing it. Down air is definitely uh, one of Peach's most amazing moves. You to say float the very least. kind of just out of range of the spin dash hitting you on the ground, and you can get a few pokes in once the iframes do wear off. This game is also basically who's going to put the wedding ring on first. Who's going to show that high commitment? Uh, so Nuggets is going to want to kind of play with this movement back and forth, dart in and out, wait for him. That being said, though, if he does let Jackal in, Jackal's punish game is really immaculate. For oh, it Sonic is. Main, so yeah. he has one of the best punish games of uh, yeah. Sonic Man I've ever seen. This guy has gimp people just doing three back airs in a row. He gets, I saw, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, he just finds <laughs> ways to do it. I mean, you guys, you guys saw this man at Shine. You saw what he did to MK Leo like a million times over. This guy has oh one of the, gosh, ooh, wow. He's done. Catching him. Raw, 72% is going to take him off the top. He transformed Nuggets. into a DLC character. Calling that a refund. Right there on my McNuggets. I need Yo, my McNuggets. I, these were really dirty Excuse when you me, put these over the counter. I've seen Super Size Me. I do not want these anymore. I hate Union Tunist. I hate you so much. <laughs> you love me, Helper. Come on. I hate you. You love me. I love you. I'm a tier list of... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, okay, take it FD. I like this pick a lot. It gives Jackal a lot less space to do those combos off the platforms yeah. a lot. It also helps It helps a more linear approach to take place. So that way Nuggets kind of has an easier time of opening up from the punish trap in the initial game. And that, I those love that. down throw combos are true, by the way. Yeah. Peach just gets free damage off of that down throw every single time. Can I, I just I say, like this movement. Can I just say I love when Peaches do that? Peach like movement and darting in and out. I see player four do it. I'm like, dude, do you have arthritis yet? <laughs> How are your fingers not broken? Yes. Ooh. Princess Peach, definitely one of the more technical characters that Smash yeah, 4 has sure. to offer, to for a, sure. You have to have an impressive amount of dexterity to really master this character. Absolutely, and the movement second to none. Both these characters with some of the best movement in this game, for sure. Sonic with his raw speed and Peach just with her technicality, being able to weave in and out with those flow cancels, doing whatever it is she's got to do. But I just love those sinking aerials into like, uh, into further op uh, not further options, into further attacks right there. It's just such an intricate punish game that you're going to see from this person. And against a character like Sonic, one who could just like run away and just really keep you at bay if he has to, just with his raw speed. He is the fastest character in the game above Falcon <laughs> by a full unit. I mean, it's in his, it's in his job description. It and is. Uh, it's in his job description. This, that's for sure. This kind of pick was paying somewhat dividends for Nuggets, as you can see. Jackal wasn't really getting the most mileage out of his punishes as he was last time. But now, as we step here. That first stock is going to be taking off, and now Jackal really doesn't have to overcommit as much. He can wait for Nuggets now to throw out a move with some air unsafe aerial, and then move in for the approach. That's the bread and butter of Super Smash Brothers, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. At the very least, Super Smash Brothers 4, you have the Whoa. stock lead. You have absolutely no reason to approach anymore. And if you play Sonic, you don't have a reason to approach when you're losing sometimes. Oh, he's done. All right. That's a stock right there from that uh, voluptuous... Uh, <laughs> That voluptuous rumpus that the, Peach has right the, there. Definitely the strongest button game. Strongest button gaming for, for sure. sure. Oh, the charge okay. up! He just winds it up, dude. What a duff! 
he, he put the little, uh, <laughs> throw the wind-up toys, he put the little thing in and just <laughs> rounded up. <laughs> There's a it. snake in my boot. And you could tell that Nuggets was not happy with that neutral get-up. He just shook his head. He knew immediately after that. Yeah, get-up attack. Yeah. I, I know Peach has a little bit of trouble getting off the ledge at times, but he was good. He was all right. Yeah, and that know. booty bump. I so love, strong. I love how much Jackal has been smothering Peach as well. Usually Peach, you can't get too much mileage because she's a little bit of a floaty. Unless you play like uh, like a Rage Induced character like Bayonetta or a Zero Suit, you're really not going to get crazy, crazy mileage off of Peach. Uh -huh. But I like how Jackal has just been continuously applying the pressure. Peach thrives off of having her little movement. She darts back and forth so to avoid getting hit and playing footsies. Jackal, if you, if you just keep smothering Peach, she can't do anything. She can't move. Yeah, that is absolutely true. I mean, if you could just oppress this character really yeah, well, because, you know, her approach options, they're not exactly linear, but they're they can the be yeah. a little streamlined, you know, if, if that makes any sense. I mean, like, what is Peach going to do here? She's going to float in front of me. She's going to try and bait me to, like, press a button or do something. Then she's going to hit me with a down air Ooh. into a forward air in this uh, yeah. this situation. But if you know that that's the kind of stuff she's going for, sometimes you might just have to wait a little bit for her to be able to commit to those, uh, to those kinds of things. And that is definitely what we are seeing from Jackal right now. I mean, like, you don't get to... Uh, you don't get to beat the best player in the world if, if you're not proficient and stuff like that. And not, I don't know if it's just a Peach like being too slow thing, but I noticed Nuggets is trying to call out a lot of moves before Jackals even began moving yet. And only after he throws out the aerial does Jackal go on the offensive. I feel like he should just be chilling a little bit. He's got the percent lead, and, and Peach does really well at holding her ground a bit. She can dart in and out. Her spacing is immaculate. Sometimes when you, uh, it might be nerfs. I'm not gonna, I, I can't say be. that obviously, but sometimes when you're playing against a player as that you know is really good, yeah. sometimes people can psych themselves out a little bit and they'll just keep playing the game in their same streamlined yeah, way, yeah, the exactly. way they know how, sticking to their play style, instead of really analyzing the situation that's right in front of them. Like, I have the percent lead, I can force him to approach. Yeah, it doesn't exactly. matter how good he is, exactly. you know? And I don't think that's exactly running through Nugget's head right now, because as you can see, he let this lead slip away from him, right out from under his fingers. He's in one mode right now, and that's kill. My man is swinging for the fence with all these slaps. You can't be in that zone against you Sonic. You can't be, no. You if you're, if you're only in the kill zone against Sonic, like, oh, I just want to get rid of him so bad, all you're going to do is just press buttons and buttons against him. And that's what Sonic mains thrive off of. They want you to do that. You know, you can't be doing that kind of stuff against him, man. Eventually, when you get a stock lead against Sonic, one of the best ways to fight him is to force him to approach. Because guess what? He's going to spin dash, and then you can just hold the R ah. button. The latest the hit of the parasol. parasol. I think the parasol literally has like a tiny, like a million tiny cactuses on it. <laughs> like you just can't touch that thing without flying back in pain. It's like what did what what did the toad scientist engineer that thing? To you have like mod of the it? game to like like zoom in even further. Is it like, coated when you in can acid? Like I don't understand. Like what's <laughs> happening? I don't get it. But I like I like how Nuggets is starting to make his playstyle work a little bit. Notice how instead of darting in now and overcommitting, he's floating back. He's doing these float backs uh, forward airs. It's, it's looking to be a little better. I also love that Nair. That Nair is a really great quick option with Punish, and it's exactly what you need when you need to regain stage control. There we Jackal, go. Jackal's just been like running all over him, mm -hmm. so to speak. It's just... He just gets in that spin dash, man, and he just explores like his plethora of options. All I can think of is Aladdin whenever like he's charging that. I feel like he's just like, let me show you my world. I, I like how much he's running in and out of two. Jackal's also just not Dead. staying locked up in one place too often. He goes in, gets his damage, runs back out, waits for the overcommitment, runs back in again. He's able to control so much of the stage just by how much he's moving right now. That Duff might do it. Nah, not quite. He was taking blast zone damage, Ooh, though. Okay. Trying to rise up underneath the uh, underneath Nuggets with an up air, trying to catch him, but the parasol is going to do it. And that forward air is going to do it. Nuggets staying alive in this game. Your place, sir. Unhand me. I don't that know. Was, I don't know what that was. That was a dot ice. It was a dot ice. All right, I figured. It was a stitch that would have done a lot more, but I could tell because it ate about half of the shield, and it, it just had a little cute little smiley face on it. One more good hit from Jackal should seal the deal here for this uh, for the princess. Trying to bait that spin dash into a grab, trying to back go by the ledge. Jackal pulling out all the stops to try and secure this potential 3-0 victory over Nuggets right now. And if he keeps playing like this, that very well might be what will happen. This is hard for Peach because I don't think Nuggets is the type of player to go for Hail Mary Gambles like the Rage Parasol tactic. I think he's going to have to really play this super smartly. The, the main thing about Peach is that her grab game is really good. But when you're playing against a character that really has a difficult time getting grabbed, and that's going to be it. Looks like uh, Jackal's going to be taking his Nuggets to go. And that'll be a quick 30 right there. Thank you, pull through the next window. Thank you, next. Thank you, next. Ariana Grande, 2018. I just saw her carpool karaoke with James Gordon. Oh uh, yeah, how was that?